you tell them one thing. Just win, baby. It's your boy Samori to back at it again with another video and today man, it's a huge day It's the tampering period. It's the start of free agency I know uh, we can't officially sign players until Wednesday But today is the day we get to talk to these players and commit to signing these players and the Raiders signed absolutely nobody so far and I know we've only been well a couple of hours into free agency right now But the Raiders haven't made any moves at all And I'm really hoping that they could make some kind of splash because there's a lot of players going just like that the Raiders man We freed up some money so we better go start spending i mean i'm not saying to overspend a lot of players but i want to go get some stars out there you know what i mean as of right now your boy has been waiting for a very very long time for something to happen but there has been nothing happening so i thought i'd come to you guys and talk to you guys and update you guys on what's been going on so far with the raider nation and who the raiders are actually looking forward to and reaching out to to bring over to las vegas now let me start with some players that already got signed that are already off of the list right now that raider fans were most likely interested in you know Shaq Barrett already resigned with the Bucks Jason Verez signed a one-year deal with the 49ers the Patriots also went out and signed Matt Judon and Jalen Mills I mean man the Patriots have been really active so far in free agency man and Romeo Aquaro resigned with the Lions so I mean those are a lot of players off the list so far now as for John Johnson the safety from the Rams that I know a lot of Raider Nation want to go out and get as well as me it looks like his preferred teams have have dwindled down to only the Lions, Eagles, Jaguars, and Browns. Now, where the fuck are the Raiders in that? I don't know what the fuck they're going to do with the money that they have right now. Who are we going to go and sign? I swear, if we spend all of our money on old veterans and injured players, I'm going to be pissed off. I mean, I wouldn't mind going out and getting guys on a one-year deal, you know, bringing them on to the Raiders. But come on, man. We got to make some type of splash and free agency. Now, I have a lot of trust, and I trust the process. So, you know, it's just me speaking as a fan. Man, speaking as a content creator like yo Raider Nation man do something out there I want to see some splash I want to know I want to know that you guys are trying to bring in the best players to help this team make it into the Super Bowl I mean John Johnson if he doesn't sign with the Raiders then so be it but as of right now as I check you know I've been on Twitter Instagram Bleach Report every single uh, news cycle just to see who the Raiders are going to be interested in or who the Raiders are about to sign but so far it has been absolutely nobody but it's okay it's all right we gonna get something done again like i said i trust this team to do something at least but as of right now for some updates we already know that kyle long is going to be visiting the raiders today they're going to have some talks today and the raiders you guys better not let this guy walk out the door because he's going to be visiting the kansas city Chiefs right after he leaves las vegas if he leaves las vegas so john gruden mike mayo get the job done if he has to don that ugly mustard yellow and red i'm gonna be fucking pissed off this is a guy that is destined to be a raider this is a guy that needs to be a raider you know follow his dad's footsteps and that's 75 i'm sorry brandon parker you're gonna have to let that go if my boy kyle long signs with the team so kyle long is gonna be visiting the raiders today so hopefully we hear some good news that the raiders are actually gonna sign him not only that there have been reports saying that the raiders are gonna make a big push at melvin ingram now we already know that the raiders are interested in bringing in the former san diego charger i mean los angeles charger to the team because we have gus bradley as our new defensive coordinator and we could use some edge rushers on the team and he would be a perfect fit on this team he would be a solid veteran signing for the Raiders and I wouldn't mind him coming over to Las Vegas now I wouldn't want to overpay for him this is one of those guys that I would want to bring in on you know a veteran minimum contract I don't know how his mark is gonna look but I don't want the Raiders overpaying for players like this and he is a good player when he's on the field that's the biggest concern here but hopefully if he comes over here he can play on a really really low risk high reward type of deal with the Raiders not only that some surprising reports came out that the Raiders actually reached out to wide receiver AJ Green now this is another veteran wide receiver that has been dealing with injuries but again this is another guy that i wouldn't mind the raiders going out and getting and bringing him over to the dark side i mean if we do not re-sign nelson aguilar then bring in aj green this is a low risk high reward type of deal for the raiders now i know this is not the biggest splash for the raiders in free agency but if we were to bring in aj green i think it'd be a solid move for the team and with Derek Carr under center whoo wee aj green's career is gonna whoo, skyrocket because he's finally gonna have a quarterback that could throw to him now again he's another player that is a good player when he's on the field and that's where my concerns are i wouldn't spend no more than five million dollars a year on aj green i mean it should be at least like i say three to four million dollars on a one-year contract or maybe two-year contract who knows again that would be a solid move for the raiders if we brought him on now 
Do you guys think that we should go out and get AJ Green? Let me know in the comments below because that's that's an intriguing name right there for the Raiders to bring in to Las Vegas. But he's not the only guy that the Raiders reached out to because the Raiders also went out and called Jaquiski Tart. Jaquiski Tart. Mr. Pop-Tart, um, safety from the San Francisco 49ers. He played his whole career with the San Francisco 49ers, got drafted in 2015, and he is a solid player. Again, one of those players that are good when he's on the field, and he's been dealing with a lot of injuries, and I don't think that he's going to be that big splash that the Raiders need, but again, this is going to be another low-risk, high-reward type of move for the Raiders if we went out and signed him. You know, he would come here for a cheap deal. He most likely could come in and, you know, help out with special teams and be a rotational piece in the secondary at the safety position, so I wouldn't mind that move if we brought him in this is not a move that i would be really really happy about but i wouldn't be mad if we brought him in again like anybody that we could bring in with a pulse on the defensive side that could help our defense out i'm down for now in some other news the raiders are just one of three teams that are front runners to go out and sign richard sherman those other two teams being the jets and the bills now we've already talked about you know richard sherman you know for weeks and weeks about how the raiders are really interested in signing him heck john gruden stated on a live interview that you know there's interest there with the raiders and richard sherman and bring him over you know we already got gus bradley as our defensive coordinator and he would be another solid veteran that could come in show the ropes to these younger players he already knows gus bradley's system and he likes playing in gus bradley's system so so I think it would be a perfect match for the Raiders. There have been talks about him moving to the safety position, but I don't know how I feel about him moving to the safety position and playing as our single high safety on our defense because he's past his prime, and I don't know if those legs can keep up with guys like Tyreek Hill and Keenan Allen. You know, our division is going to be pretty competitive, so uh, now I would bring him in as a cornerback, but not as a safety. Since we're speaking about secondary players that played in Gus Bradley's system, let's talk about Casey Hayward, another guy that just got released least by the Los Angeles Chargers like what yesterday or the day before that and you already know the Raiders are interested in him so that would be another solid move for the Raiders again this would be another guy that I would bring in for a cheap cheap deal and I wouldn't start him on this team he would just be more of a depth chart piece already knows this defense and again why not last but not least let's talk about Donald Penn now I know that the Raider Nation got love for Donald Penn well I mean, except for that guy that almost got in a fight with him. But that's besides the point. Donald Penn, I guess, posted on Instagram story yesterday saying that there's going to be a big announcement or some big news coming out today. And then on his story today, he's out visiting at the Raiders headquarters, you know, going around, you know, enjoying his time over there. And everybody has made speculations that the Raiders are going to bring back Donald Penn to the silver and black. Now, I don't understand this move, honestly, but we do need help on the offensive line. Donald Penn did play as a left tackle on our team, but that's that position is already filled in with Colton Miller at the left tackle position. So if we were to bring him in, where would he play? Maybe at the right tackle position, taking over Trent Brown's role? But it's funny to me because a lot of people are making speculation since he's out there and he said that there's big news coming out. But what if he's just out there because he's a season ticket holder and he's just visiting and having a tour around the stadium and whatnot? <laughs> and then we're all looking like idiots like, hey, Donald Penn is coming back to the Raiders. I mean, I don't know what to say about that, but if he did come back to the Raiders, I wouldn't mind it. I mean, I wouldn't mind any moves unless the Raiders went out and brought in AB or went out and brought in Jamarcus Russell as a backup quarterback. Then we got something to say. Or maybe Donald Penn could sign a one-day contract and retire as a Raider. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I was just talking about Donald Penn right now, and I was about to end this video, but I just went on uh, Instagram and shout out to my Ooze Dark Side right here. Right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it, apparently Donald Penn came to the Raiders to sign that one day contract with the team to retire as a Raider. I, bro, I just called it right now. And I just I just seen that he's signing with the Raiders. I'm like, oh, shit, he's going to sign for a whole year. But he's signing with the Raiders for, on a one day contract and retiring as a Raider. So, man, congratulations to Donald Penn. I did not see him coming to the team and playing in 2021. I mean, he's been out of football, so. Congratulations to Donald Penn and your family, man. Uh, once a Raider, always a Raider. And at least he played for the Raiders and wanted to play for the Raiders other than some fat ass uh, named Trent Brown. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I got to stop talking about him. All right, Raider Nation, that is all I have for you guys today on this video. Uh, I'm going to be on it throughout this whole free agency season. So if you guys don't want to miss anything, then hit that subscribe button and hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when I upload more videos just like this. If you guys enjoyed this video, then again, hit that like button. And if you guys want to help support this channel, then become an exclusive member and hit that join button down below right next to that subscribe button. Until the next bit of news, this is your boy, Samore Raider, and your boy is yeah.